Hey guys, I just wanted to do this video because um, <clears throat> sorry, I've had a lot of comments going on my mouse enclosure that I don't have enough stuff in there and I shouldn't keep my mice. Now, by the end of this video, you will understand my mice have got plenty and also that I do look after my mice, okay? So here's an example one. We currently have a vault in here at the moment. A lady rescued it off her cat last night. At least I'm not the crazy cat lady. But anyway, guys, every time there's a, um, a mouse or something like that in the village, everyone comes to me to look after them because I know what I'm doing. This is a vault. This little guy. Okay, I'm just going to open it so you guys can see him closer. He might run and hide. So... That's the little vault in there at the moment. Um, so we got him last night. The lady rescued him from her cat, um, and that, and she named it Tyson, um, and that, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. We'll name it Tyson. So its name is Tyson, um, and that is just gonna hid in the little tube. So as you can see. This is actually a temporary 40 hour setup because every mouse or a wild animal like this foal or a wild mouse, unless it's a female wild mouse and I can pull it in with Mickey and my girls, it will be set on its own. Now, people for diseases, it's very rare you can get diseases off wild animals. Like, little animals like mice and things like that. My mum has a panic and everything. It's very rare that you will ever get anything of them. So don't be scared. Secondly, unless you know this mouse is not panicking, I would have a glove. Because <laughs> otherwise they can bite. I have been bit by ones previously in the past. Um, and that I have been bit by Mickey once. And that's only because I stuck him with a male by accident. And he was very stressed. And that now I know what I'm doing more. I know not to stick a mouse straight in that first night with my mice because they hide their balls. Wild mice have uh, got hamster genes, so they can't breed with your pet mice. So if you have fancy mice and you end up keeping a wild mouse, please be aware: do not stick male fancy mice and wild fancy uh, fancy uh, wild fancy fancy pet mice and and deer mice any mouse from outside that's a male and with a fancy male of your own pet do not put them together they will fight to the death and kill each other secondly if you have a ha get a wild mouse and it's a female you can stick it in with your fancy females but be prepared if you stick that wild mouse in with a male that you've already got they will breed now if you end up with that situation by an accident or you end up getting one like i've done in the past where they've had babies just as long as you don't touch them babies and you leave them as wild possible, as soon as they're old enough to start eating on their own, mom and babies can be released. Be prepared if they run off from each other, that's just natural instinct because basically male and female mice in the wild will mate and then the male would leave and leave mom to look after all the babies and as soon as the babies are old enough to leave the less they will be chucked out. So. That is basic information for you guys. The basic structure for a 48 hour thing is they can eat any mouse food, any seeds, and just not give them citrus stuff. And also, so basically you can give them peanut butter as well, but make sure it's safe for dogs. So anything that's safe for dogs and normal pet mice is basically fine for you to feed a wild mouse. Try and keep it as wild as possible, especially if you're going to release them. Do not handle them. Keep them as t like untamed as possible. I will explain to you in a bit why, because a lot of people are like, why don't you just release him? I'll explain to you in a bit why I've never released Mickey. But here's a basic setup for any wild animal. We have voles will eat the same, any voles, shrews, or anything like that, you can put mouse food. So I have mouse food in here at the bottom. Every time you have a new one, make sure you clean it out after you finish, even if you're going to put your pet ones in afterwards. You have a bowl of water. They would poo in their bowl of water because that's natural to them. Um, then I put tissue or kitchen roll in as bedding. I put a tube at the back and this is out of my mace cage because I don't have any of the hides currently. 
but you need to hide for them because my mice decided to destroy and chew their other bed and that's what else you gotta be prepared you must keep them in a viv or a safe tank when you have these wild animals because they can chew out they are a wild animal at the end of the day and that's what they do naturally pet mice they're not naturally do it but i did have a situation where because mickey is that tame like they chew the back of my wall they can't do it anymore because it's tiled around the edge and it's tiled on the floor um and they can't do that anymore so basically they chewed from my wall and i had to wait because mickey was that tame my girls come out mickey come out and i got them and i put them in a tank like this where i sorted the viv out i will show you the viv in a minute so and um, so basically and then i got sawdust this sawdust i've currently got in there at the minute i don't like my partner picked it up by accident um so basically the i get the horse sawdust because it isn't so dusty but you can get um any sawdust as long as it's not really dusty because you can give them respiration problems so this is a current set for this little guy as you can see he's just eating here um i will not handle him i will literally um not tonight the next night because he's doing pretty well we got him last night um off a lady um if he does fine and he survives through the night tonight, then tomorrow night, because you do not release them in the dark, in the daylight, people. Whatever you do, please do not release them in daylight, because they will panic. They are a night animal, and they hibernate in the day. They don't come out in the day unless they are caught by an animal, would be the only reason, and unless they are hungry for food, is it the reason? The same as hedgehogs, hedgehogs will only come out, and we have rescued a hedgehog before from the main road, he's down Max farm, and he's living a happy life on cat food, and fields and fields, he doesn't have to stay, he can leave whenever he wants. So, basically make sure you release them in the night time because then they it's their natural time that they're going to be awake and they can look for a home but if you have babies please whatever you do either seek a rescue or someone like me that's know what they're doing if you can't keep babies and mom because you have to keep babies and mom because mom will not be able to make a nest for them babies if she's been taken and due to have them babies you can be prepared that they can lay babies also be prepared that mice can hide their balls and they really can <laughs> like they can actually hide them and make them look like females but there is a distinct distant like difference that females will have nipples but also be prepared that no matter what you stick a wild male or female in with your female man fancy mice is they will not breed at all do not believe people that go oh if you stick that mouse in with your females they're gonna no they don't they don't breed at all and before you say how do you know you're not unsure how do you know that's for definite i know for definite i've had mickey for more than a year now so i've tested that theory myself and also the fact that wild mice have hamster genes especially deer mice which mickey is so i'm just going to show you guys why because everyone keeps crying at me and going you've got barely anything in that tank i do have more in the tank than you believe so i'm just gonna end this dry because it's need done anyway so ignore the mess around it because this is the stuff we've been putting in place at the moment but this here is going to be part of the cage in the end anyway um as you can see there's a small tank here for a reason i'll explain that in a minute so in the end this glass will be the same as this glass as you can see it's quite full it's not empty people it's always full packed full see i don't have nothing in let me explain to you guys why i have barely a thing in the tank before as i try to explain on my video i had a wild mouse it was a female i had to see because it was only small whether it would get on with my other mice now how you socialize and find out whether your mice will get on with other mice is you leave the tank empty first now the reason we do this if they start fighting then you can split them up and separate them if you've got hundreds of things in that tank you're searching through why they're fighting that's why i had an empty tank that day not because i just wanted an empty tank i always give my mouse everything they, they need i give them food treats everything they are spoiled rotten smoky is quite chubby 
that's how much she eats. <laughs> you know, we always think she's pregnant and she's not. But yeah, so by the way, you guys, that's why I had an empty tank. I don't normally have an empty tank, but that's why that day I had an empty tank. So, I explained this situation. This is going to be the girls in the end with this, and this is going to be the boys. Um, these boys that I have here... Zeus, move. Move away, darling. So, the boys I have, two boys in here. Now, unless you know what you're doing, do not stick two baby fancy mice together. These are brothers in the same tank. Now, it's very rare. And we've been very lucky because we wanted to keep our two boys. We couldn't decide which one me and Ibi wanted one each. So, it's the reason why we've ended up with two. Ignore them because I need to clean them out today anyway. Um, so, yeah. You are very lucky. So, unless you know what you are doing, do not put two boys together. Do not put two adults together. The only reason these boys are together is because they've been together since birth. We are very lucky they haven't fighted. Now, fighting, tip for tat, squeaking is nothing. If you see them fighting to the point they draw blood, that's when you have to separate them. But please don't try it at home, putting two males together unless you know what you're doing. So... In this thing in here, we name every one of our mice. <laughs> so, in this cage, we have Patch and Stoner. Yes, if you name them as Stoner, because you thought it'd be funny. <laughs> so, I'm just going to move the house. As you can see, the boys have a house. Before you guys complain, I've got nothing again. Obviously, they're going to have more things in the future, but this is their temporary accommodation until we get the glass sorted for the top bit, and then they'll have as much as the girls. They had this. This was full. As you can see, it's nearly been eaten. Um, I'm doing this because I need to clean them out anyway. Right? I put them a couple of tubes in to hide them. But these need thrown away, obviously, every time I put clean ones in. Because you look totally wrong anyway. Um, and my best advice you, I can give to you guys, if you have males, they are going to smell. They are telling how the boys stink. <laughs> The only way you can avoid um, males smelling is you clean them every couple of days. And I mean literally every couple of days. Which is I normally clean my girls once a week anyway because I prefer to. It irritates their brain and gives them something to do anyway. So, but yeah. So, um, and then I give the boys this. The boys have got this. Yes, they will be poop on stuff. Please clean it. Um, and then these are actually um, from birds. You can actually give them bird seed and bird stuff. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. So, that's actually a bad thing. They're like 59p from Pets at Home. So, yeah. Um, also, if you are in the UK and you're Devon, please let me know and hook me up below. Because every time I get babies, I do setups with them. I do a whole setup. It's all on my page. If you want to look at my page, it's called Baby, Fancy, Baby Mouse Devon. So, yeah. That is my page. Um... And that, and I'm currently going to set up a website in the process of doing a website as well. And that, but yeah. So, I'm just going to find my boys. Um, This is also a little thing. These boys are sort of jumpy, but they don't bite. They, I hold them, I hold them, like, very often. Um, And that, they're just jumpy because they're newborns. They're only, like, they're about seven weeks old or something like that now. But, yeah, so, they're under here. Yeah. See? Two boys together. And then literally I will hold my hand out and let them come to me. If you rough mice up and over attack them, they will end up not wanting to know you. They will not want to come to you. You need to let them come in their own time. This is Stoner. See, they're a bit thingy at the moment. They know. They always know when something's going on. <laughs> come on, Stone. Patch. Patch is very very used to me now here's the patch this is little patch and obviously you can see his little balls in the back telling it's a definite male um pet mice will not hide their balls i've never known them to hide the balls obviously i just let them do what they want so yeah so this is patch just slip back in that's patch um and everything you've seen his balls you can tell they're definitely a boy I'll even get you stoner to show you how lucky we are to keep these parts together. And then we just dig him out. Come on, stone. Come on, boy. He's like, no, I don't want to. Come on, stone. 
keep him one lunch to shoot. Patch will always come to my hand. Look. He's like, hey, mom. <laughs> Patch has known me more. I've took more time because Stone is supposed to be Ibis. And we've been very busy lately. So I've started looking after Stoner as well because Ibi can't handle him very much at the moment so right oh I got both of them so this is Patch and this is Stoner as you can see balls again we are very lucky that we've managed to keep these pair together obviously if they start fighting they will be split and we will be rehoming one of them um and that but yeah so that's Stoner and Patch um in there I'm gonna clean them out in a minute um so that's my little boys in there now why have we got Mickey still people have been asking now if you watch my previous videos and get down here for these if you've watched previous videos in the past you will know that the reason we had Mickey from day one he never bit me he sat on my hand he took food from me he never jumped he never ran off from me and every time the cat went near him and like in the viv he just sit there and watch them he's not scared of the vacuum and that's why we haven't released Mickey. It's too unsafe. The same as if you had fancy mice babies and you picked them up, they'd get used to you. In a way, we thought Mickey was a pet that escaped from someone. Um, like someone had rescued him in the past, but no one come forward. So that's why we've kept him. I think, here he is. He's actually coming out. This is Mixter here. Are you gonna let me stroke you today, Mickey? No. Now, see how he ran. If I put started stroking him, he wouldn't run. They have days where he doesn't want to be touched, so I don't force him. He's a wild animal at the end of the day. Um, so I leave him to it. We have Smokey here. She's just right there. I can actually open this by the way. So we have in this tank we have a baby of the litter to do with patch and stoner her name is destiny like the game they freaking adore sunflower seeds i only put this in the other day and they've nearly eaten them all already so that's the sunflower seeds i also have a bowl for food um i have a bowl for water for them these are only 150 at b&m's these are you have to find a certain b&m's for them um and these are 250 at pets at home um i'm in the process of trying to get more bowls um like that round one like these um from b&m's because i find them really good to put mealworms in and um, because i want a treat bowl a mealworm bowl um a food bowl and a water bowl so they've got different things you always put loads of bedding in with them as well loads of tubes see their tank is full guys I do not leave my mice with nothing. I literally have. This is from the Zoo, Zoo, Zoo Plus. You can download it as an app. You and that. The parrot things. But I still got it. I can't remember where I got this hangy thing from the back here. Um, these I get from anywhere. They're just mice things. That was a bird thing from BJ's Value House. Um... Here's, here's Sweetie Pie. Look how fat Smokey is. Now, Smokey is not pregnant, guys. She's just a chubby mouse that likes to eat. Here we go. Let's see if I can get her to come on my hand for you. See? This is Smoke. They like kisses. So that's Smokey, guys. And then we've got Sweetie Pie here. Destiny is the little girl. She's getting used to us, obviously, because um, she's the new baby of the tank. She might. Mum's at the back there. That's mum. That's Minnie, the mum of this little girl. And then we have Mrs. Brown over here that's really attached to me. Um, I'm going to see Destiny. Here we go. That's the new little baby there. She's very jumpy. But again, she won't bite us. She's very friendly. She's just very jumpy because she's getting used to us. But she's never bit us. The only time I've been bit by a mouse is, like I said, Mickey. Due to the fact that um, like I put him in the mail by accident the one time. But I know now to check for balls. Wait a day before you even think about putting them together. So I just wanted to go to show you 
is that I do have a lot in my tank and I do care for my mice. They get spoiled rotten. They get a lot. The reason they're all waking up right now is because there's a fly in there. Great. Um, is because I've just literally took the water ball on that out. The tank is the only reason they're waking up right now and they know. Smokey is the boss of the tank. This one here. Um, she is the boss. Do you want to come or not? We give them a chance to decide whether they want to come to us, look, or whether they don't. So Smokey's deciding. Do you want to come, darling? No? Yes? No? No, you don't want to come today. By the way, don't be scared sometimes when your mice um, are very friendly to you. Um, if they come up and they hold and they get a little nibble on your finger, it doesn't hurt. It just feels weird when they do it. Here's Destiny, guys. This is little Dest. She's very jumpy, see? But she's okay. But, um, yeah, so don't be petrified if all of a sudden your mice starts having a little lick on your finger on a munch. They don't deep their teeth into it they just smell stuff on your hand and things like that as you can see they're all starting to come out now all of them so but you can make um another thing we learned from mice is the fact that you can actually breed them from four weeks of age we have not done that we'd prefer to give her a bit more of a chance really and let the boys grow up before they start mating again um it does sound weird and aggressive when they're doing it but and the females do tell them and they don't like it unless they're in, in the thingy mini no um mini the one who's run back in is the one that had the first lot of litter but um basically you can breed them from four weeks of age we don't like to do that um but you can if you want to um but you don't have to also the other thing we learned and it's very shocking you can actually it's not like cats it's not like dogs you can breed brothers and sisters we are not going to do that we will only breed the moms with others we won't breed siblings um as you can see they're all looking um we won't ever breed siblings together so yeah um but anyway guys i just wanted to show you my tank and everything to show you guys that no i don't just have an empty tank i have a full tank obviously when i clean this tank out the sawdust only goes up like here and everything what's wrong smoke mm -hmm. um and that little destiny's like making a bed at the back she's gonna be so stressed <laughs> well they're not stressed like every time i clean their tank out they start flipping everything everywhere like all this here would not be here the sawdust goes from here they have new tubes put in here and everything um and that and i move everything backwards and things like that it gives them enrichment and things to do the more you can put in there the better but yeah oh yeah and by the way these hay nut things here these are actually for rabbits but they click on and that and this rope was just from bedding thing um they can chew that but we don't care but yeah so and um, other ha the reason that house is down like that is like i said they chew wood but the thing is you can't leave them with no wood at all so like we have these little wooden things that were christmasy if you live leave mice or even rats for example we've nothing to chew their teeth down they end up with teeth and they'll go into the top lip and they will hurt them and it will make them ill you can always tell when their cheeks start puffing out and they start dribbling and things like that it's not good for them so please make sure if you're gonna have a tank like i have these these are actually oil burners i've never used them for oil burners um i've just used them in my mouse cage i bought them from asda for a fiver um see we let them choose whether they want to come to us are you coming smoke or are you going back in are you going back in so we let them choose but the only time we don't let them choose is obviously when we're cleaning the cage out because i basically i clean the whole cage out and then i vacuum it sometimes i can get away with vacuuming it but sometimes they like to run up to the vacuum and play with the vacuum so we have to be very careful with them because we wouldn't ever want to put one up with a vacuum so please make sure you do things safely but anyway guys I just wanted to update you about my tank to show you that I'm not cruel. I look after my mice. I look after my animals. They get everything they can possibly need. 
and everything. They have massive space. Obviously, the boys are in their little tanks. We're in the process of doing new glass for the top ones and things like that. Um, the tanks that the vole's in will be released before we even have more babies because that's normally the baby tank for mom and babies. But other than that, guys, I hope you have some good insight. If you need any info or questions about wild mice, pet mice, anything, please just hit me up and give me a comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, guys. See you soon.